to him. That's, that's, that's always very tough. And the final stage about to get underway. It'll be 45 laps remaining of this 90-lap race. Back to green, and they fan out. Two, three wide back in the back. Line of oh, contact. contact. They're into the wall. That's a double zero. I believe the 20 as well. John Hunter's bid for three in a row is going to end with a wreck here on the front stretch. And that's, you know, that restart looks so similar to last week at New Hampshire. But this week, it was really a product of the older tires on the front row and several rows, right? Rows two, row three. Everybody's sitting there trying to build traction, trying to get the throttle down, spinning tires and not going anywhere. And here comes the rest of the field behind them on new tires. A lot of stack up. A lot of damage here for the 20 of John Hunter Nemechek. The front end smashed in. He's trying to nurse his way back around to pit road. Let's look at what happened on this restart. Yeah, from that higher view, we watch. Uh, you could see everybody wiggling, squirming, trying to get traction. A lot of movement, a lot of bumper tag, trying to push each other and get each other going. Just very aggressive, trying to get, get each other going. And it's, you know, it's because of how hard it was for the front two rows to get going on those old tires. So you see the fourth car closest to you, that purple 20. He's pushing the 48. And then he, I don't know, just kind of gets swapping ends on him. And he comes across and catches the double zero. Yeah, he, get, he gets pushed by his teammate, Sammy Smith, yeah. as well. But as he's getting pushed by Sammy, he's moving back and forth across the racetrack. So he goes I left, right. And so he gets kind of turned into the double zero, hits the double zero, and that's what gets the crash going. But a lot of pushing and shoving while car, cars aren't going straight. And you can see everybody struggling, trying to get power down and moving all over the racetrack just to get, get the motor going. A lot of great avoidance back there for some cars going so low. Luckily, we have so many lanes of asphalt here to be able to get out of the way and avoid contact. And there's the damage to the 20 car on the left front, right front damage as well from contact on the outside wall. These composite bodies uh, falling apart now when you have that much damage to them. We're going to look at the telemetry on the lead car, Algar, 67 miles an hour, starts to accelerate. But just all of the cars with used tires trying to get going. The 48 of Parker not getting a great restart, but he's spinning tires off of the nose of the car behind him. Sometimes you're trying to push the car in front of you. It all sometimes that can hurt them and make that tire spin even worse. The two cars involved are.